Hey guys, it's SJ, welcome round. I hope you're good, hope you're cosy, sit down. You've clicked on this video to hear about the best books to gift this Christmas. So I'm gonna be sharing some really brilliant books. They're all quite wintry and atmospheric and really gripping, which is what I think we kind of need right now for lockdown. And the reason I think they make great gifts is because they're kind of like, authors that I love that you can kind of you know if you discover an author you love then you can read all of their stories um that's a real gift to give somebody and maybe you could gift a book and then read it together with a friend which would be a really nice thing to do during lockdown so these are my top five favorite reads for the last couple of years they're not all brand new 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 the it books but then I have just received three it books um which are the big ones that are going to be gifted this year that I was really interested in getting so I've already got them and I'm going to tell you why I'm really excited to read them but this is a giveaway as well so I didn't want to do a gift video without gifting you guys something so you can win any three of these books um, just by writing giveaway at the beginning of your comment below I'll put all the other details of how the competition is going to be run by myself not affiliated with YouTube in the description box below um, but yeah all you need to do is write giveaway at the beginning of your comment and you'll be entered to win any three of these books that you wish so look how cute this mug is though before I put my tea down I'm drinking a pucker nighttime tea so if I fall asleep <laughs> forgive me oh but this mug is from paper chase i think it's so cute so i'm dying to talk about this book if any of you have read it please let me know below so we can kind of have a i don't know an off off video chat about melmoth by sarah perry so this was my favorite book that i read last year i actually read it last october and i was gripped from the beginning it's quite a short book but so readable so interesting so i won't give anything away throughout these video of the books but this is like a gothic novel so it's set in Prague but it follows a woman from Essex who has relocated to Prague she has a secret in her past that we don't know about um, but she's kind of basically living a very minimalist life um, over in Prague to kind of because she doesn't feel like she deserves any better and they come across this character who is a real kind of mythological folk story character Melmoth um, so she reads about this character Melmoth and then the story kind of takes lots of twists and turns Melmoth is basically this idea that she is the loneliest woman in the world and she is doomed to wander earth lonely trying to get other people to join her in the other on the other side of life basically and it's just so it gives you kind of chills thinking about it but it's such a brilliant book because the conversations are very day-to-day -day, very normal but the backdrop is this you know Prague and these dark cobbled streets and this very kind of gothic eerie background so I absolutely loved it I love it when there's something like this real true myth that you can kind of get really fascinated by that's kind of she's investigating and you're kind of learning along the way um so good and then Sarah Perry also wrote the Essex Serpent which won a lot of um awards and that I'm reading that now I'm pointing out because it's over there I'm reading that now as so I've gone back to that but this would be a brilliant one um to gift somebody and yeah as I said read it together because I'm I luckily I did have a friend who I think gifted that to me <laughs> um my next one is so brilliant so it is called the post birthday world and it's by Lionel Shriver so Lionel Shriver um is a woman and she wrote we need to talk about Kevin if any of you are kind of old enough to remember that book Oh, which was very dark. Um, it won the Orange Prize Award and it was about like, um, I think there's a movie as well, anyway. Um, but this is, you know, like sliding doors. Any of you like fascinated by this idea of like, what would happen if I'd have been a minute too early or if I'd gone a bit later to that and how your life kind of takes two different directions or that TV show, The Affair, when they did the first series and it was like, oh, sorry, moving around. Um, show two different people's perspectives of the same events and I always really love that concept and this is the whole book of that so the post-birthday world it follows um, Irina who's quite nice because she's like a kind of an older woman female protagonist of the story as well which is sometimes a bit harder to find and she has to make a big decision on her birthday does she have a kind of illicit kiss with this guy outside of her marriage who's very different from her husband a bit of a celebrity type of guy or does she not and does she stay with her husband and then the book splits into two ways and you see what happens if she'd have taken either path and the chapters kind of mimic you know like her life goes along and big things still happen in both worlds and which is kind of better what's more interesting how does she change it's just so well written it's quite witty it's not kind of like a chick lit but it's 
interesting it's you know it's more about her and her feelings and it makes you laugh out loud at times as well i've relent this book to so many people because i just absolutely love it so it says yeah love is always about trade-offs um and it's just that it's love story it's basically a bit like the sort of the love actually story with emma thompson near the really good one that sort of vibe really really good it stays with you for years and i read that years ago but again really really good gift because it's such an interesting topic this one is such a beautiful book actually it's called the girls it's a few years old now it's american lit um and it is about a cult so anyone else just love things about cults i like watch a lot of true crime and that sort of thing and i'm really interested in cults and i really love coming of age books as well i read the 15 year old girl in me who just sat reading all the time and I just think it probably helped me get through loads of ideas in my head or something because that period of my life just feels like books and I still love reading books about coming of age so this is set in the late 60s which I love like the 60s 70s kind of vibe um and just the difference of living in California during those times and it follows the protagonist is called Evie She's a really normal girl and she starts to see these other types of girls hanging around in town in her small town and sort of eventually befriends them follows them out and gets caught up in a bit of a cult situation i find that really fascinating and i do really like it and it really um, enjoyed this book and i think it'd be a good one for um to have conversations around even as a family like if you've got an older daughter um or for your sister or something or you just fancy that book yourself really really good read the next one I don't actually have because I've just lent it out, but it is Nine Perfect Strangers by Leanne Moriarty. She wrote Big Little Lies, which you might have watched on telly. Um, I think she's Australian, and again, I love all her books. I've actually read every single one of them. I really liked, um, I'm going to pop in the description box the other one I read during lockdown. But the reason I put Nine Perfect Strangers is because I got gifted it and really enjoyed it. And it's so interesting because it's about nine different groups of people nine strangers um, and they all go to this well-being center because they've obviously all been through something and i think that's why it's so perfect for 2020 because everyone's kind of like got this sort of baggage and we've all been through something and they get together and there's some very questionable <laughs> techniques that happen at this center of well-being um, a spa slash retreat slash rehab type of place so fascinating you get so into the characters um it deals with a lot of things like it deals with like marriage it deals with bereavement it deals with um work disappointments so they're all there for kind of different reasons but it's so well written so many twists i'm really predict it's going to be a big movie at some point so yeah read it first and my last choice is to discover the author sarah waters again it's kind of like her style of writing is quite at the moment, I just feel like in winter, I always want to read something that's quite atmospheric and quite dark and moody backdrop a little bit. And she's been compared, to, this book's been compared to things like Rebecca and the old like Daphne de Mornier books, if I'm saying that right. Wuthering Heights, they're very great storytelling, amazing characters that you just can't stop turning the page because you it's a wild ride, basically, the story. So it's the story of um, Frances and her mum, and they take in paying guests, lodges upstairs, and it's set in 1922 in London. So it's very easy to read, very like um, you know, everyday language again, but with this wonderful backdrop of, you know, the carriages and the, the kind of like 1920s London, which I really like. This time of year, definitely, it feels like Downton Abbey time, <laughs> um, period drama time, um, and I really get lost in this book. The way she writes is so good, and this was one that I wanted to put on this list because I remember it from the beginning. I got given this again by a friend, and I just couldn't put it down. I was so into it, I whipped through it. Um, her love story is always involving gay women, so if that's something that you're not into, um, just to be aware of it, but it's not the point of the story. It just happens to be um, how she writes. Um, her love story is always between two women, um, but it's such a brilliant book. And I should say it's like a crime one. So basically there's like a murder and you have to kind of help solve the murder. Who's gonna go down for it? There's a trial um, in the olden days which I loved. Um, so it's kind of very like, like a Sherlock. So it's very much like a crime book set in the 1920s with this amazing backdrop of the relationships between the people in the house. Crazy, I love it, actually, I might reread that. <laughs> so I'm gonna share with you the books that are on my wish list for this Christmas. So these are kind of the new hip 
it books but i haven't read them yet but you might want to add them to your wish list or these might be the three that you want to win in my giveaway so the first one i got is called rules for visiting which is kind of pertinent to lockdown such a pertinent to lockdown book this so it, again it is um set around a woman um her name is may and she basically feels like there's something missing in her life i think she's in her 40s or her 30s and she's feeling a bit something's missing she's a bit lonely so she decides to reach out to four kind of forgotten friends from her past and go and visit them all and it's quite a short book as i said i haven't read it yet but i know i'm going to love it because i think stories about female friendship are just so interesting and it's about how each of them i guess unlock different things about her and rekindle things about her life i guess and put her onto a different path so apparently it's really really uplifting and good feel good one but it is one to buy this christmas it's on all those lists so that's called rules for visiting by jessica francis kane i think it's her first novel maybe for a crime i do like a kind of it crime book like gone girl you know when everyone was reading it and now that i don't commute into london anymore for work i don't know what everyone's reading because it literally was like the whole tube would have like one book um i think this is going to be one of the ones for that this christmas and it's called the most difficult thing and this is actually written that writer's great granddad was a real spy or something like that so the reason i've got this it was quite funny so basically it sits around this character this woman she is a mother married to her university sweetheart just like me um her background or her family is secret intelligence and like me and my dad was actually a detective and ended up very senior working with up in london and a lot of stuff um secret stuff so yeah i feel like this is basically me <laughs> but i think it starts with her walking out and leaving her family behind and not coming back so watch out <laughs> once i read this so it's a cat and mouse it's a true it's a crime one and uh, loads of these twists and turns um so yeah i'm excited to read that one so yes that could be on your wish list as well and we can chat about it i know there's so many book clubs on youtube aren't there I'll probably find one and then this looks absolutely brilliant it is called pine it's a gothic novel so i realized that i really enjoyed obviously things like melmoth and stuff like that and i feel like i enjoy i don't like horror books i don't like to find books scary i would never watch something horror on tv but with a book i can take it at my own pace i find it a bit easier and i quite like the kind of like the little bit of a darkness about a book which is funny do you um like i get quite bored i was normally read a book like this then i might read like a chick lit easy book but chick lit stuff is more my telly as i said earlier um so oh it says to chill the marrow is this going to be too scary for me a standout debut of the year by francine toon a female author a scottish writer so it's set up in scotland it says every single hair on the back of your neck is going to stand up on end have i made a mistake it's quite short so it is about lauren her father niall who live in the highlands and uh, i think the daughter goes missing um, so it's kind of like a crime but it's definitely got this obviously they don't give away hardly anything about this book and neither will i, I haven't read it yet but it's about living out in the wilderness living outside of society a little bit what a small town is like when something big happens all that kind of stuff i love so i will be reading this it's called pine and i feel like this is a really good gift because it's just such a beautiful book as well isn't that lovely um so yes if you're looking for it won the scottish crime book of the year so that is my book gift guide for Christmas 2020. I hope you enjoyed it. As I said, if you would like to win any three of these books that I just mentioned, then just write giveaway at the beginning of your comment below. Um, do let me know what books you absolutely loved and what you'll be gifting, 